Nityananda Paramashivu ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ 
तत्वस्यामचल साक्षिभूत भावातीतुणरहित सद्गुम तम नमा With the most auspicious blessings of the supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram, we welcome you all with our love and respect. We welcome all the devotees, disciples, Kailasa Vasis, Gurukul Balasans, Nityananda University students, viewers, visitors, watching us live on Kailasa TV, Kailasa's Nityananda TV, to yet another extraordinary day of Nityananda Satsang. If this is the first time you're joining us on Kailasa's Nityananda TV, a very special welcome to you to the official TV programming for Sri Kailasa, the greatest Hindu nation in the world. Sri Kailasa is the Hindu nation revived by His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwaram. Sri Kailasa is dedicated to the preservation, restoration, and revival of an enlightened culture and civilization based on authentic Hinduism. spread the message of sri kailasa share this satsang we invite all of you to share this video on facebook twitter instagram and other social media platforms you are watching us on also please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel kailasa's nityananda tv to receive exciting updates about sri kailasa today is july 4th 2020 the united nations observes today as the international day of cooperatives the international day of cooperatives is an annual celebration of the cooperative movement that takes place on the first saturday of july since 1923 since 1995 the united nations and the international cooperative alliance have been setting the theme for the celebration of the day the aim of this celebration is to increase awareness of cooperatives The event underscores the contributions of the cooperative movement to resolving major problems addressed by the United Nations and to strengthening the extending, strengthening and extending the partnerships between international cooperative movement and other actors. Cooperatives have been acknowledged as associations and enterprises through which citizens can effectively improve their lives while contributing to the economic. social cultural and political advancement of their community and nation the cooperative movement has also been recognized as a distinct and major stakeholder in both national and international affairs cooperatives open membership model affords access to wealth creation and poverty elimination this results from the cooperative principle of members economic participation members contribute equitably to and democratic control the capital of their cooperative because cooperatives are people centered not capital centered they do not perpetuate nor accelerate capital's concentration and they distribute wealth in a more fair way this is from the united nations shri kailasa the greatest hindu nation is rooted in the fundamental principle of advaita or oneness the idea that all beings can live in peace and harmony and that all human beings are equal and divine and can reach their highest potential irrespective of their color nationality religion gender or race the framework for a dharmic economy of sri kailasa is defined as per the agamas delivered by parameshiva himself parameshiva the supreme consciousness himself the economic policy and official languages of sri kailasa the only indonesian are revealed by bhagavan his divine holiness nityananda parameshiva here the economic policy and official languages are ultimately based on the foundation of consciousness the governance economy politics everything 
is constitution everything is consciousness based while the rest of the world is forming cooperatives and other organizations which can facilitate the participation of the individual the inherent cosmos the constitution of the cosmic principle is already embedded into the formation the foundation of sri kailasa here bhagwan nityananda parmashiva reveals the economic policy and official languages of sri kailasa the world's economy today is saddled with fiat currency where a small group of people in the governance layer control the production and value of currency and where banks third party enforcers and the government constantly enrich themselves at the expense of ordinary people and citizens the current system inherently lacks trust and communication which has to be enforced externally to the system further value for some currency comes from deals between powers rather than inherent value created subsequently the entire system from top to bottom is based on violence why is the world economy like this can this problem be solved is there hope for a fair fairer open more equitable economy that benefits the individual as well as the greater good the ancient science of yoga has answers for these questions parmashiva's economy as delivered by the supreme consciousness parmashiva the original author of the science of yoga adi yogi the science of enlightenment the veda agamas lays out the core cosmic principles of oneness in the vedas and reveals the dynamic rules that govern the working of the world based on the principle of oneness in the agamas to state it differently the vedas represent the basic science and the agamas represent the applied science and forms the operating system of the world parameshwar discusses wealth and economy in the agamas he sees wealth as a core expression of enlightenment and details a framework to create a super conscious society through an agamic economy here the economic policy and official language of kailasha the only hindu nation are explained by bhagwan nityananda parmeshwar in hindu tradition the economy is three layer grain based metal based and all the precious things you get from the ocean pearls those based those items sanga nidhi paduma nidhi paduma nidhi means all the items you get from the ground comes under padma nidhi like a grain and metal all the things you get from ocean is formed as sankanidhi shanka kanch shankanidhi padumanidhi that's all this two is the currency and in padmanidhi two category grain based economy and metal based economy whole thing is contributing economy does not encourage 
stealing swindling based economy no the hindu dharmic economy principles hindu principles of conscious manifestation of reality in every level i wanted to keep all the hindu principles alive and bring legitimacy and demonstrate it it still works this is the best understand this is the best somebody asked in twitter i think many people are asking the official languages on kailasa page says english sanskrit and tamil why hindi is missing all right now i am declaring all the languages spoken in the hindu 56 desas which was there during the mahabharata so i am taking mahabharata time as the cut off period during the mahabharata period all the nations which existed and all the languages spoken will be official language of kailasa we will now list it understand so i am taking mahabharata period as cut off period the hindu nations existed during mahabharata period and the languages spoken at that time all those languages will be the official languages of kailasa all the scriptures existed till that time will be collected organized decoded demystified and made user friendly and presented to the whole world freely because we believe education is free open sourcing system paramashiva believes in open sourcing system paramashiva's economy the original author of the science of yoga and enlightenment lays out the core principles of oneness in the vedas and reveals the dynamic rules that govern the working of the world based on the principle of oneness in the agamas according to paramashiva all economies in alignment with oneness will share certain behavioral patterns first and foremost is one where what benefits the individual benefits the greater good and vice versa second is the idea of non violent money where value is created purely based on businesses that enrich people eliminating any bliss business or economic practice that thrives on exploitation such as insurance anything that increases in value by being shared should be freely available to all for example education open source software which increase in value by being shared should be freely available that way the growth of the individual and the growth of the society are aligned anything required for day to day living and lifestyle should be created in a self sufficient way for example health care clothing and food self sufficient economies do not outsource their basic needs but in the modern consumption based economy outsourcing things like food has led to creation of dependence of the society on food like products which leads to poor health in fact the key insight here is that the fiat currency model has been exported to both education and healthcare in this world leading to exploitative economies in parameshwar's economy currency only comes into play for projects that require the coordination of people and resources for long term investments but this currency should be based on contribution trading time and energy to create money and ownership and responsibility should be distributed throughout the system 
here in this very powerful message bhagavan nityananda parameshwaram gives a clarion call to all of humanity and says let us all coexist he gives a clarion call a wake up call to all of humanity human beings can rule the planet but not possess let us watch parameshwara swami ji giving his wake up call to all of humanity purpose of the world the primal principle the primary principle of the universe is let us all coexist and celebrate our life planet earth may be ruled by human beings but we have no right to feel this planet earth is exclusively for human beings no that is the sin that is the pap human beings are commit when we are enamored by the binary logic we fall in love with binary logic and forget the existence of cosmic logic so when you are enamored by this beautiful planet earth and all the resources it can offer to make your life comfortable and luxurious you forget this planet earth belongs to all other beings also out of extreme greed and delusion we try to make this planet earth exclusively for us human beings is the first sin papa we are committing let us stop this thought current of trying to make this planet earth exclusively for us by making all other beings extinct understand in last 100 years the damage destruction we did to planet earth is unimaginable due to our greed due to our extreme possessiveness just because binary lot makes our life more comfortable and luxurious we forget the cosmic logic karma exists same way just because the beautiful things this planet earth can offer to make our life comfortable and luxurious we are trying to possess this planet earth exclusively for us human beings understand we are not just winning the nature we are trying to kill net billions of animals are killed for food every day whether for your food or medicine or cosmetic or things which makes you comfortable or luxurious needs whatever whatever may be the purpose but we are forgetting the most important cosmic logic let us all coexist and celebrate life ahimsa paramo dharma non violence is the ultimate natural law of life 
कस्मिक लॉजिक ऑफ लाइफ अहिंसा परमो धर्म नॉन वायलेंस इज द अल्टीमेट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कस्मिक लॉजिक द एक्सट्रीम ग्रीड is making human beings possessive of planet earth and just for our taste buds we are ready to kill billions of animals it is not even to satisfy the hunger satisfying the hunger keeping yourself healthy is verily possible with vegetarian lifestyle with plant based diet food and lifestyle we all know planet earth cannot afford any more meat based lifestyle planet earth cannot afford simply cannot afford for multiple reason not only as per the cosmic logic even as per the binary logic planet earth cannot afford meat based lifestyle killing animals killing life for our taste buds is no more practical lifestyle as per cosmic logic and as per binary logic in both level whether the amount of grain water land resources needed for producing meat or the amount of pain suffering torture cruelty cause while you are killing the animals for your food or for milk understand milk comes from the industry which is most violent large quantity of milk supply is from violent dairy form it very little almost negligible quantity only comes from non violent goshala we are forgetting the pain karma suffering we are causing as per the cosmic logic to the world and the amount of resources spent on producing meat even as per the binary logic in both levels as per the cosmic logic and as per the binary logic in both levels meat eating lifestyle is impractical 
I request and recommend all Hindus to renounce meat eating lifestyle for the sake of saving the planet Earth. I humbly request all practicing Hindus, living Hindus, to renounce meat eating lifestyle to save planet Earth. Let us not be possessive. Let us not try to make this planet Earth exclusively for human beings. Let's stop this delusional greed. The greed of the human beings has reached to the level of delusion. We are in a delusion thinking we can make the planet earth exclusively for human beings which is not possible please understand oh humanity please wake up in parmashiva's economy the people and Parmeshiva are co-creators of money. This translates to value, where our ability to be intelligently active and constantly contributing is wealth. The ability to keep the currency current and moving gives value to the currency. Where Parmeshiva embodies and incarnates on earth, the place where he lives is called Kailasha. The latest incarnation of Parmeshiva his Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Parameshivam. His goal is to create a superconscious society through liberating economic practices outlined in the Agamas. This is the classic difference between the indigenous enlightenment-based tradition and the multinational corporate-centered religion. Here in this video, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam gives the contrast between how a consciousness-based civilization addresses the needs of a society against the multinational corporate world, how it addresses the needs of a few, and how the nexus between various elements of a corporate-centric religion are destructive to the individual. Here, Swamiji beautifully explains how the enlightenment-based civilization the oldest living civilization on this planet is the solution. Many people ask me, Swamiji, how to understand, internalize, cognize deeply what you are revealing and maintain the same cognition in the day-to-day -day life. I will give you two understandings. Understand? Initiation. After every session. The initiation. That 15-20 minutes of meditation. Sit. That will make this whole thing from inside me to inside you. Never miss that initiation 21 minutes. That is the greatest gift. Actually, that is the content. All the words I am uttering in the satsang is container. It's only a container. That 21 minutes of initiation, that is the content. Receive it. Don't miss. That's one. Second, how to keep that cognition inside? permanently in the head alive living it manifesting it it may look very funny have long jata you will be able to do have 
long jata like if you roll your jata and keep it should be equivalent height of your face that is the way the paramashiva's face is described in dagama the deity making shilpa shastra signs see a normally a middle level temple the deities they make the size is like a 18 rice is one unit face and the same 18 rice one unit is jata that is the way the deities are made so your face height that same height should be if you rotate your jata and keep that height of the jata <laughs> no many people may think how jata can that is what is the truth long hair is associated with powerful memories and cognitions being kept alive from the time immemorial in all tribes all over the world go to any tribes who are not destroyed by the mnc religions there are only two traditions in the world indigenous enlightenment based traditions and mnc religions multinational company multinational corporate centric religions so i am not going to classify and show you which is indigenous enlightenment based tradition and which is mnc tradition no i am not going to do that i am only saying go to any of the indigenous enlightenment based traditions you will see this dreadlock long hair will be the lifestyle for them time immemorial all enlightened traditions enlightenment based traditions know the secret long hair and jata as a power to retain powerful cognitions inside your head that's all why how logic i'll explain later you can see this deity the dakshinamurthi above me is painted properly as per the agama lakshana so one measure face one measure jata and three measure shoulder one measure hip these are the measurements usually for a, any mid level temple the deity one measure is 18 grain 18 தஞ்சாவூர் பொன்னி ரைஸ் காவேரியால் விளைந்த முழு பொன்னி நெல் பதினெட்டு நெல் ஒரு யூனிட் ஒரு மிட் லெவல் டெம்பிள் வில் யூஸ் ஓன்லி தட் சைஸ் ஆஃப் த டேட்டி அஃப்கோர்ஸ் பிகர் டெம்பிள்ஸ் யூஸ் பிகர் டேட்டிஸ் நோ டவுட் திருவண்ணாமலை என்றால் இஸ் gigantic deities madurai of course madurai utsav murthy is little small but other deities are gigantic and hmm? all practicing hindus should be proud of you belong to indigenous enlightenment based tradition stand whether you belong to a shaivite from anchipuram or shaivite from kashmir or madhva brahmin from udupi or ayyengar from srirangam or ayyer from tanjavur or Vedanti from Andhra or 
वट एवर वट एवर वी आल बिलांग टू इंडिजीनियस एनलाइटनमेंट बेस्ड ट्रेडिशन दट वन ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग नरेटिव ऑफ इंडिविजम इंडिजीनियस एनलाइटनमेंट बेस्ड ट्रेडिशन अंडरस्टैंड there is something called collective narrative grand narrative connective narrative which i am describing now is connecting narrative indigenous enlightenment based traditions pachamamma in bolivia and pachayamma in trivandramalai is same enlightenment based tradition where the greenery is worshiped as para shakti cosmic feminine energy pachamama in bolivia pachayamal in tiruvannamalai the same goddess understand indigenous enlightenment based traditions the pillars of the dharmic economy shri kailasa strives to create a framework for an economic network for shri kailasa where contribution to the mission will go 